Hey there again folks, welcome back to my Let's Play of Ever 17, The Out of Infinity. Last time, Kid started seeing Coco quite a bit. Um, very confusing and interesting at the same time. I'm not sure exactly where she's supposed to be at. You know, uh, I don't know if the weirdness is with her or the kid. I guess with the kids, and he's the only one seeing it, so... Definitely very interesting. Hopefully that will be elaborated a little bit more this time around. Uh, this time around meaning this episode. Also, it ended with uh, him and you uh, in the ruins. She uh, seemed like she really wanted to spend some time with him. Not sure where this is leading, so it's another interesting uh, thing that hopefully will be elaborated on sure what intentions she has. Uh, same way I didn't know what intentions Sugumi had last time. Well, I don't think she had them. Uh, I don't know. I... But yeah, I don't know if this is going to go a similar route that way. It seems a little bit stranger this time around. Uh, but anyway, she uh, really wanted... He tried to leave a minute ago and she... Uh, Stopped them, so let's see where this goes. That's what I was about to say, but you said. I sat down again where I was. I figured that even if it was nothing to me, it might mean something to her. I shook my head. How am I supposed to know? I've experienced the same thing before. So, if you what I'm You don't believe in time travel, right? You repeated yourself. What? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't know. So you took you are. Toss it away in that cat. What? He is rather in the dark. Oh, he does not feel it's kind of. My other eye. The third eye? So. But how? Yeah. It's something I had hope for. You can harness that power, then my past memory. I cocked my head thinking. As she spoke, used index finger approached my right eye. I closed it. The tip of used finger touched my eyelid. Now give me a second to think you did the same thing to my left eye. I felt something soft touch my lips. Startled, I opened my eyes. My mind went completely blank. You know, I was thinking uh, that since it felt like that was the direction this was going, 
I try to I go for the most bit trying to keep this mostly PG, but uh, this isn't actually that bad, probably. There's a uh, another eye that uh actually that wouldn't open the gates to wisdom though. That one normally gets you in trouble. Alright. Probably lost the few views I was going to get from now on. I couldn't think of anything. The third eye. Had I found true wisdom? Had all things become visible to me? It was a lie. I felt more and more confused. I only... The scene in front of me, the soft touch of skin, and the sweet smell that made my brain numb, it was all I could do to absorb these. That so-called third eye gave only the truth, warmth, con confusion, and affection then. That night passed as I etched, pure, slow, and new memories into my mind. The next morning, after breakfast, we all gathered in the conference room. More accurately, we gathered because Sora had called us together. <laughs> It'd be funny if he, uh, this will, he's going to be awkward as crap for the rest of this, isn't he? So Gumi also made a rare appearance. <laughs> いっこくも早くお知らせしなければならないことがあったのです。辛いでしょうが、現在の状況を正しく把握する必要があります。取り乱さず落ち着いて心して聞いてください。You know, whenever I, if I ever have to go into surgery, I want you to give me the speech that everything's gonna be calming. I probably won't die. You do so well, you're so convincing that you won't tell us all bad news later. Sora paused for a second. Sora looked at all five of us in turn. You, Sugumi, Sarah, Takshi, and then me, before continuing. The conference room was silent. But I could hear the sound of water faintly from somewhere. Was it water lapping in the corridors? Moments later, I couldn't hear it anymore. As if Sora was waiting for this cue, she slowly opened her mouth. <coughs> Sora extended her hand and a holographic window appeared in the space in front of us. I felt like I hadn't seen her do that for a while. <laughs>今のところ新しいの兆候がはっきり現れている箇所はありません。昨夜のドリットストックのコスミッシャーバル浸水以来、際立った被害は出ていませんが。その浸水によってレミューを支える支柱への負担は増大しましたフロア間の歪みは大きくなりつつありますこのまま行くとレミューはやがて平行バランスを崩し大きく傾くことになるでしょう フロア区画の連結部への損傷が重なれば健在な区画にも各種パイプなどを通して水が侵入してくる可能性があります。つまり油断のならない状況となっています。以前お伝えしたと思いますが、レミューの完全悪化推定時刻は5月7日午前4時30分前後となっています。推定誤差はプラスマイナス12時間程
発電機が停止してしまった場合は非常電源蓄電池を使用します通常は非常灯の点灯とシステムの保持に使われている程度のものですが2時間くらいは持つものと思います。So, as a matter of fact, way of speaking only raised the tension in their minds. For Takshi and Sarah and Sagumi, and for you. I could not get the image of you burned into my brain in the night before out of my mind. I still felt as if our lips were touching. From the morning, you and I had avoided each one another's eyes. I was sure if we had even exchanged words. You looked straight ahead. I was more conscious of you than of anything else. <clears throat> I didn't know how I should act around her from then on. But I had other things to worry about. I listened to the conversation. Kyurai no Tsushin Kairo ni Tsuite wa Izen Futsu. Daishitsu Hoho mo Mitskatte i m a s e ですが、艦内レムシステムは全力を挙げて、皆さんの生命維持を最優先事項とし、そのための環境保全に努めます。また、艦外で操作可能なセンサー、ライト、マニピュレーターなどを総動員し、それらを使っての硬波、電波、音波による通信の送受信の可能性を改めて検証中です。<笑> Sora nodded her head, straightened her back, and surveyed the room. We were all silent. There's a look of determination in her eyes. You are sitting where I must go. Kore wa iji des. But I see Akanega Saki Sora no iji. Dekiru koto wa wazuka desma. Mina san ga koko ni irare ru kagiri. Mina san ga koko kara puji da shitsu suru tame no arae ru shudan. Koko wo watashi wa kangae. Tame s t a i to m o t e i m a s あとしばらくの間よろしくお付き合いのほどお願いいたします助けは必ず来ます信じて待ちましょう皆さんが無事救出されることをお祈りします The gloomy atmosphere that had been hanging over the gathering Lightened and everyone started thinking about how they should spend their time. Sora's smile instilled everyone with courage. I was grateful for that piece of code in Sora's AI program, the function that allowed her to be calm in times of trouble. So, let's go ahead and get started. 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 Let's go ahead 即座にレミを通じて私に知らせるということでソラちょっといいあはい小町さん何でしょうかスギミ suddenly stood in front of Sora Her smile seemed just a little force 話があるの二人で話したいんだけど二人きりでですかええお願い実は脱出についてあなたに一つ提案があるのよえ本当ですか何かいい方法が This is when they got in a really good fight last time, isn't it? そうよあなたも知らない私だけが知っている方法聞いたところによればあなた自立行動のプライオリティを入れ替えてもらったそうね I was actually just thinking that if、uh, if last time that affected when and When she told him about、uh, him, of, of Sagumi's argument with、uh, Mr. Otherwise this time around. Remy, the life of 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 the life So, Gimme is really remembering that. So, oh, good grief. If I played as a kid before Takashi, would this be happening? Because,、uh, uh, I don't remember. Well, So, Gimme might have said that before. I don't know. What? Oi, just wait, Gimme. Sora, I'm. 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 I'm
Tsukumi held up her hand as if silencing Tagashi. With serious looks on their faces, the two of them headed out of the room. Oi, wait, you two, don't talk about it. If you want to talk about it, then you should be here. Tsugumi glared back at Takashi. Her eyes were like ice. Wait, 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 wait. She put his uh, argument on ice. She turned her back on Takashi again and the two of them left the conference room. The room suddenly felt si fell silent. What is it? Those of us left stared at the hologram in the conference room and settled down to plotting a strategy to save ourselves. The four of us, you, Sarah, Takashi and I, gathered around the table. We, re we reviewed the facts as we knew them. There were two ways to get to the surface from Lumu. One, use the elevator in the central area. Two, climb one of the complex's 12 sets of emergency stairs. The central area floor was completely flooded. Even if we could get to the elevator, we couldn't be certain it would move. We still didn't know the cause of that either. The emergency stairs were also filled with water from the second floor so they were impassable. Right now there was only one method that could be used to remove the flood water. That was to use the high pressure fan to pump the complex full of high pressure gases and purge it out of uh, seawater. By that moment we weren't able to operate the fan from inside Limu. And like the elevators we still had no idea why. If we couldn't start it from the inside then it, would, then it could be started from the outside. But all communication channels to the outside had been cut off. And swimming our way to freedom was out of the question. The water pressure and other problems made that suicidal. And if we couldn't find a way out on our own, then we'd have to rely on rescue efforts from outside. But that was something we couldn't depend on. We hadn't been able to communicate with the outside for the five days since we'd been trapped, and there were no signs help was coming. So we knew that we had to exclude a miracle at rescue from our options. <laughs> no, from the beginning. We had reconciled ourselves with the facts of our situation long before. We figured it since there had been no contact or rescue or even the slightest sign that maybe there was a reason that people couldn't get near Limu. Or maybe someone had intentionally sealed us in. So we came up with three steps we should focus on. A. Restoring communication with the outside. The kid really likes Celeste, don't he? I don't remember any of this in Takshi. In Takshi's playthrough. Which kind of fits, I guess. Takshi doesn't seem like the type who likes to organize things in the list. He just does it. <laughs> but this was only relevant if the people on the outside were willing to cooperate. B. Find another way to drain the water from the complex other than the high pressure fan. But according to Sora, there was no other way to do this. C. Find an escape route other than an elevator or emergency stairs, like maybe a submarine. But according to Sora's information, there were no longer any left at Limu. <coughs> she said they had all been used during the evacuation on May 1st. Final conclusion? Her prognosis for escape? Hopeless. They sound very, uh, hopeful, don't they? <laughs> Optimistic. But there was one thing. Skimmy had said there was an escape method that only she knew about. If it did, in fact, exist. And there was a way that all six of us could escape. And that would be our only hope.
Hey, should I go see how things are going? Yeah, fine, I'll just go take a peek. With that, I left the conference room. I headed down the corridor to the control room. With the situation the way it was, no matter how much we worried about it, we weren't going to find a solution. That was clear. <clears throat> so we would have to take control of the situation. But how could we do that? We couldn't just rely on thinking, we needed to act. The key to the first step down that path was in the hands of Sugumi and Sora. That's what I believed. I arrived in front of the control room. I pushed the intercom buzzer, but there was no answer. My only choice was to open the door. Oh, great, they're, still, they're, they're fighting this time anyway. When I did, I heard Sugumi shouting. Sugumi and Sora were in the middle of an argument, so intense that it seemed they might start going at it hand to hand. That would be completely pointless for both of them. Neither would, would give an inch, they just glared at one another. It looked as though they'd been fighting for several minutes. The room was filled with tension. The two glanced at me for only an instant before launching back into their argument. I wonder how that'll work. I wonder how that'll turn out this time. It was a bad scene. Something about the whole scene... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Something about the whole thing screamed danger. It wouldn't do to let the two go at it like that. I retraced my steps, hurrying to the conference room. Everyone, we've got trouble! Without waiting for the door to completely open, I bounded into the room. Come on, we've got to go stop it. I told them this as a struggle to get my breath back. The central control room. Sora and Sugumi. I, I found them fighting. <laughs> I just couldn't watch, so I... We burst into the room. The room was full of sharp words and barbed looks. It does sound dangerous. Metaphorically speaking. The atmosphere was tense. I left a bad taste in my mouth. Nothing had changed at all. It might be safer to say that things had gotten worse. ドリッドストックの下に風呂は上がりません。降りることはできないんです。嘘。あなたは嘘をついている。私には分かっている。うん。私は知っているの。レミューには更に下の階があるって。うん。レミューとは別の施設。それがこの真下にあるの。ずっと下の方にいる。ね。そうでしょ。その問いにはこう答えするしかありません。そんな施設など存在しませんと。そんなはずはないでしょ。じゃあ、あの部屋は何？あのヒンメルは一体何なのよ
ここまで聞いちまったんだもう隠し事も何もないだろう Takshi stared intently at Sagumi <laughs> Takshi turned back to us なあ悪いんだけどここは俺に任せてくれないかうん。We're letting you handle the diplomatic、uh, relationship here、um, with the girl who seems like she really wants, it, wants to put your face in. Well, Sarah wouldn't be a good idea either. Ah, all means of the Arakura Yatmo. She should get Skana Kunar Dagaro. だからここは俺と空とつぐみに任せてくれしばらく3人だけにしてくれしょ少年なんでそんな重要な話し合いで私たちだけがのけものにならなきゃいけないわけ Takshi has trust in us. Takshi has his own take on things. And I think we should go with what he thinks. Thank you, Shone. It's my name. So, can I now? Ja, could I not be? I'm done, Maka said a car, eh? Ah, I got that. We left the three of them in the control room. After that, we decided to take some action of our own. The, es <clears throat> Excuse me. the estimated time until Lemu's implosion was steadily approaching. We decided to run a visual check of the complex to see how everything was. Of course, Lemu had already checked everything, so it was a meaningless action. But we felt we had to do something. I took the corridor near the well room. Rather near what used to be the well room. The cosmic well room was already filled with water. I wonder what the girl I had seen around here was. Where is she going? Who was the girl singing that lonely children's song? Was she a ghost or something else? Just as I was thinking that, ugh! Suddenly I was hit with a bout of dizziness. My vision contorted and I couldn't stand. I leaned against the wall and slowly crouched on the floor. I was unable to focus my mind. I felt cold. My joints were throbbing. Uh oh. My stomach felt like it was contracting in on itself. I couldn't stand it and sprinted into the bathroom. I threw up everything in my stomach. It was a stew of. Half digested chunks of chicken sandwich. I looked at it indifferently and put my hand on my forehead. I wasn't feverish. I felt terrible. Okay, maybe that's another explanation on his, uh, on his, uh, overreaction last time. I took the eye elevator to, up to the second floor. I headed toward the infirmary, intending to get some medicine. Along the way, I saw Takshi. Takshi was leaning against the wall, muttering. He was probably just talking to himself, but I heard what he was saying. Taku, nani mo kine janai ka? Te makase yagatte, ano na. Mo jikan ga nette no niyo. Lying, woman. He seemed to be in a bad mood. Hey there, Takshi. Ah? No, shonai ka. Nanzai. Um, how was the talk with Sugumi and Sora? Ah, I don't know. Dame, dame. Huh? What do you mean? Sugumi no can't see that on there. I'm not a I know my comedy that on that. So the escape route? Ah, more to the Haxini model that the wagon. Oh, I see. I had held out hope that he could pull us through. It was a bitter disappointment. おっとそうだこうしてらんねえよ俺もう行くわ今忙しいんだよじゃあな OK later <laughs> looking stiff Takshi headed off I was left alone 
Sarah and Tora were in the infirmary. It seemed the two of them were having a complicated discussion. じゃあ、ここのネットワークを通じて、ライプリ基本者のデータベースはここと I've been here for a bit. Oh, so Yeah, that escape route that Sigumi was talking about. So she turned out to be wrong? Hi. Do ya sono yo des? Let's see. まだ望みを捨ててはいけません。朝に申し上げたように、私もレミも最後まで全力で皆さんのために尽くしますから。いや、あの、あんさ。ところで少年は何の用でここに？あれ？少年も具合悪いとか？は？みとせ。皆さん